Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. One of the things that we have attempted to do in these truth reports is to confirm the true identity of Jesus from the scriptures, not from what man says and the titles that they have assigned to him, but what do the scriptures say? And one of the passages that uh, speaks to that in a rather indirect form, but nevertheless very clearly, is Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 reads, In the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets, in many times in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he made the universe. It was through Jesus that, uh, that the universe was made. God had a plan. Jesus implemented the plan. <clears throat> the Son is the radiance of God's glory, the exact representation of his being, sustaining. He holds together. He connects everything and keeps it connected. Sustaining all things by his powerful word after after he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. And so, and here's the important phrase, and so he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. The name he has inherited. What is the name that Jesus has inherited? Now it goes on to say, uh, for which of the angels did God ever say, you're my son, uh, today I become your father, or again, I will be his father and he will be my son. Now, son is not the name he's inherited, it's the relationship that he's inherited. What is the name that he has inherited? I would suggest to you that it is the name of the father. It is the name of God. It's used 6,000 times. In the Old Testament, Yahweh is that name that is used. But the, when the translators translated into Greek, they translated the 6,000 uh, times uh, Yahweh is used. They translated this kurios. And then when it came into the English, it became Lord. Lord is not his name. That's his title. We've said that time and time again. <clears throat> but he has inherited the name of the Father. The Father has bestowed upon the Son his name. His name is Yahweh. And that identifies him eternally as the living God, the manifestation, the earthly, fleshly manifestation of Yahweh. And that becomes very important to us when we come to a passage, for example, as Romans 10, 9, and 10, where God says this, if you confess with your mouth Jesus, and it says as Lord, but that should be as Yahweh. If you confess with your mouth Jesus as Yahweh, as God in human flesh, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Our salvation depends on our understanding of that. Jesus is God. Jesus is Yahweh in a fleshly, earthly manifestation. Jesus, and if we confess uh, uh, with our mouths that Jesus is Yahweh and believe in our hearts that God has raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. The name that he has inherited is the name of Yahweh, and that's the name by which we will be saved. And that's the truth. <laughs>